I heard you were on the show, of course, I'm like, well, she's got, she's got a day job. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Was that sort of a fun, exciting thing that even came up in the middle of, you know, having a, a nice ongoing role in the yeah. show? Yeah, it was, um, you know, because we had a kind of funny hiatus situation, so we only broke for about six weeks, um, where normally when we have a hiatus it goes for three months. So I knew I had five weeks, so I kind of reached out to Kevin and said, hey, you know, if there's any roles going on Stalker, I've got about a five week break at Christmas time. So, um, so luckily this kind of role came up and it's been fun to do something different. I realize, yeah, you're, you're, you're going through all the Kevin Williamson shows. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm trying to like rack up as many Kevin shows in like the shortest period of time as possible. And I feel like I'm probably winning so far. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> what have you enjoyed most about it so far? Um, I mean, one, it's the it's first time I've worked in LA, so it's been really fun to work here. Um, I mean, I've been overseas over here in America for four years now, and I've shot in Canada, and I've shot in Atlanta, a little bit in New York and stuff, so it's nice to finally do something here. Um, but it's also just fun playing a different character, and the stakes are very different when you're not using kind of supernatural elements. Um, neither is better than the other, but it's just very different, that, like when you're kind of talking about different things, and there's no um, special effects or anything. <laughs> Talk about your character. Obviously, we know she's a lifeguard, but uh, you know when we meet her, you know until this happens, is things pretty stable for her, and then this suddenly just thrusts everything in her life. Yeah, I get to play an Australian lifeguard, oh, which is really wow. nice. Um, yeah, she's a lifeguard. She's uh, been dating a uh, day for about six months. Um, she was in a relationship beforehand with kind of a bit of a controlling ex-boyfriend, and so there's the question of maybe he was behind the attack and is behind the stalking because we know that he wasn't very happy about um, her leaving him and starting dating to date someone else. So there's a lot of uh, potential suspects in, um, in this episode. It's a lot of twists and stuff, which is cool. Who do you enjoy that working with the most on the set? I mean, I, I haven't had a huge amount with Ma Ma uh, Maggie and Dylan, but they've been lovely. It's been really nice to work with them. Um, and I've been also working with Nicole, who's playing my kind of room, roommate, best friend. Um, so it's been fun also just to work with all these different people because I'm, not that I don't love Joe and Daniel, but uh, I work with them so much on set. So it's nice to have different different people to work with. It's, it's a, a small thing that's not a small thing where you uh, pleasantly surprised and they said, yeah, you can just use your accent. Yeah, that was a real kind of nice, yeah, a nice kind of change because I've been doing American for so long. I kind of was nervous. I was like, I forgot how to speak in an Australian accent. <laughs> right, right. It was just like, uh, it, it doesn't, why, why can't she be from Australia? Well, exactly. So I just kind of took out that added little tricky thing that I have to deal with um, when I'm shooting a show with an American accent. Right. Is this going to be something that's kind of left open that you could come back again? I mean, I don't... I don't know. I mean, with this show, um, you know, every episode is kind of specific to a victim or to someone that's been stalked or a stalker. Um, and I don't know that I'll probably have enough time off because we go back on the 4th of January to shoot the originals. So it was just something that kind of snugly fit in between shooting both show, both, uh, both kind of shows, yeah. How, how does she react in this situation? Obviously, it's a, it's a scary situation, but does it make her sort of recoil or is there a part of her that just like wants to get whoever this is stop this person yeah i think she's very confused i think um you know she didn't think she'd been kind of concerned that she felt like maybe someone was following her she knew that there was this red truck that she'd noticed on a few occasions um and her and her boyfriend had been a little concerned and it wasn't until the ring got stolen and someone kind of pushed into them and she realized that maybe this was a very specific attack and it wasn't just someone that accidentally or not accidentally but just like a you know, a criminal action. Um, yeah. Being someone who's in the public eye is something that you also think about from time to time. I mean, not not really, and especially not to this extent when you have you know people burning alive, and that was kind of nuts to shoot. Um, but no, not really. I've got very lovely fans of you know myself and the show and stuff, and everyone's always very sweet. Do you like, uh, you know, this sort of, uh, sort of uh, creepy, scary stuff? Is I it, love it. Yeah. That's why, I mean, that was kind of the main reason why I wanted to do this, because this is like, I think that's why I love Kevin Williamson so much, because this is my genre. This, I just downloaded all the serial podcasts. <laughs> You're just talking about that. Yeah. Um, this is my jam. I, I love this stuff. I mean, it's like my guilty pleasure reading, you know, Gillian Flynn books and um, anything to do with true crime and all that stuff. It's like my sicko, guilty thing that I like to watch. <laughs> So how about for the holidays? Are you going to be going home? Are you saying you're out here? Yes, tomorrow night I 
fly to Australia and I'm not any more excited. Um, I'm going for about 10 days and then yeah, back to work in January. Uh, we left off with the originals, as always, with much emotion. <laughs> Anything you can say about when we pick up and uh, where things happen, where things go next. Uh, you, you had another kiss, but right now it can't be. Yes, it's a really um, kind of volatile relationship between kind of both Haley, uh, both Haley and Elijah, and Haley and um, Klaus right now, um, and obviously where we saw in the last episode, finally Elijah and Haley kind of, you know, kind of made finally an advance towards each other, which has been kind of built up over the last however many se uh, episodes. Um, but when we go back, you know. I think now the priority is definitely still to um, create some sort of safe home for Hope. I think both Clark and Haley, their dream is just to kind of live kind of as normal of a life as possible, but obviously that is not going to happen for a while and not without a lot of obstacles to get there. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of, it's, it's nice that they're now kind of um, on each other's side a little bit. And um, now that Haley's a hybrid as well, her and Clark have definitely got closer and bonded over that. You'd like on that show, I mean, one, one thing I know as a fan of the show is that it really hits all genres. You know, one minute it's an action show, one minute mm -hmm. it's pretty visceral or romance, you're going to get to play a mother. So yeah. That kind of the excitement of, you don't know what they're going to throw at you next. Yeah, it's, what's so amazing and beautiful about our show is that, you know, it really is these kind of ordinary characters, although they are supernatural characters, but they're kind of put in these very extreme situations and to have someone whether they're a vampire, werewolf, wolf or not, um, when you kind of put in the idea of motherhood and family loyalty and stuff, it really kind of grounds those storylines and it makes it really interesting to play against kind of everything being super hyped and big. They're really real feelings and they're really real, um, you know, things that are they're dealing with. Have any of your scenes on Stalker been physical scenes? Or I mean, not so much stunt stuff. I mean, it's been fun on the originals because um, I don't have a baby belly anymore. Right. <laughs> so I get to do a lot more um, kind of ass kicking and stuff. But um, on this, I mean, it has been quite physical because it's been quite violent. Um, and so there's definitely been a lot of physical scenes um, in that regard. And normally I'm the one that's kind of handing out the violence. On this, I'm kind of taking it. Is it something that you can turn off at the end of a scene or is it something that's a little hard to process because these are big? Yeah, I mean, this last five days have been um, really kind of emotionally draining um, on me because, you know, when you're dealing with, like, the loss of a boyfriend or a fiancé in, um, in Nicole's case, you know, it's really hard um, to kind of get out of it at the end of the day and you're just so emotionally and physically drained. Um, but it definitely kind of helps because throughout the whole episode of Stalker, um, my character is very drained and emotionally drained, so it kind of helps me to stay in character. <laughs> It's uh, and, you know, her job as being a lifeguard. Did you have to like learn any other any moments instead of her in action as a lifeguard? Is that just sort of the back? No, I did have to put on a red bikini, a uh, red swimsuit. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite thing to do. It's, not, it's been a while since I put on a swimsuit. Um, but uh, no, not really, because where we kind of pick it up, um, it's kind of after um, the majority of the episode is after she finds out that her fiance has been killed. So. The scene we're about to shoot um, is her kind of packing up her things for a while and she's going to reassess what she's doing and if she's going to stay in America and stuff. How about uh, any other projects that you have in the works? I know it sounds like you're pretty busy now, but yeah. <laughs> how anything else coming up? Um, I actually did a film. Um, I, I managed to really fit stuff in. When I had like <laughs> two weeks off, I really managed to you know, find something to shoot. Um, I, my this aim this year was to be a busy bee, so I've definitely uh, <laughs> done that. But yeah, I did a film in um, in the UK, in the Isle of Man, actually, for two months over um, my mini hiatus this year, over summer, although I wouldn't call it summer in the United right. Kingdom. Um, and uh, yeah, so now they're just trying to work out when they're going to release it and where they're going to release it. And that was really fun, and that was really a physical, physical job. Um, and it was a thriller as well, so there was a lot of... Um, running and through, you know, forests and, uh, you know, hiding from bad guys and, yeah. You, you know, uh, when you start as an actor, you obviously never know where your career is going to go. Is it is it amusing for you or is it perfect for you that it has become a lot of, not just genre stuff, but physical stuff, characters that are very, you know, uh, proactive and get, get in the mix and fight scenes and whatnot? Yeah, I'm actually amazed because I'm like the least physical person. I don't really do anything 
exercise wise but I find myself in these like jobs and I'm always really kind of testing my endurance and my strength so maybe it'll be nice next year to do something a little bit more low-key and the stakes aren't as high and maybe like a little romantic independent comedy or something you, uh, you mentioned Haley getting the kick-ass on originals is there anything coming up where she has to uh, unleash yeah a lot um, you know right now uh, the wolves and um, Haley's really trying to keep the wolves on her side and keep that alliance and um, kind of protect uh, her home and protect, she, she basically she's kind of now realized that as a hybrid she really has both the vampires and the werewolves on her side so she's trying to use those allies and almost trying to join their forces together so that she has an even stronger army behind her um, against the witches who right now are kind of the most serious threat to the original family and to the werewolves as well. What should they tell you on that show of what's coming down the pipeline? Because it gets really convoluted. Are there times where, yes. you're like, where you have to call, you know, Julie or someone and be like, okay. <laughs> you know, the writers are amazing on our show um, because they, I mean, they could probably write like an unofficial bible of, you know, the world of Vampire Diaries and the originals. I mean, you can call up any of those writers and you can be like, so in that, that episode of Vampire Diaries like five seasons ago, when this happened and now it's sort of happening again and they know everything. So they're really, really helpful in that way. Um, and they don't tell us a huge amount, but, you know, everyone's so passionate about that show and our, um, as I said, our writers and our, our producers, um, you know, they're so excited to tell us when they kind of know something's coming up and so they'll kind of pull us aside and I just want to tell you that so and so is happening and I don't tell anyone because it's really exciting but um, so yeah there's there's like little things like little comments but only because people are so excited about stuff that's coming up um, and you know us as actors as well are always keen to know what's happening so we're always trying to steal scripts and find out what's going on. Well, we, always, yeah, uh, we always like to ask if you have a message for your fans. Uh, um, to my beautiful fans who have been so supportive over the last of years thank you so much for uh, you know believing in me as Haley and believing as me as Phoebe as well um, it's it's really nice it's so beautiful um, you know especially in the last couple of weeks in light of you know a lot of not so great things happening in the world to really um see that the fans are really kind of listening and, and they're using their voices in the right way and um, I'm, I'm so so grateful for that I think social network is such an amazing platform to um, to let people have voices um, and be heard and it's been really amazing.